Here we are looking at example four from our 1.5 number two notes. We're asked, given the following limits of polynomials at positive or negative infinity. So we have this limit as it's approaching infinity of this particular polynomial, but now we notice that we have a degree of seven right here. And as a result, we really don't care about what's going on with all of this other stuff. And we are really only concerned with uh, this highest degree and that leading coefficient with him. Now, very quickly, if you were to draw a rough sketch of what's going on with this function, we see that he is an odd nth degree. So we should see an S type of shape. So we would see something like this. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just looking at the overall image. Now we notice though that that leading coefficient has a negative. And as a result, what that's going to do with our graph is actually flip that S. So we should see something more like the red. Now we can go ahead and apply our limit. So the limit as x approaches infinity of our red function, because again, that would be considered our final. Uh, as you go outwards towards positive infinity for your x values, we see that we are going down toward negative infinity for that limit. So for a, we would see that it would come out to be negative infinity. Now for b, we're looking and we're seeing the limit as x is going toward negative infinity of the same function. Again, we really only care about this leading coefficient. We've already gone ahead and drawn a quick sketch of the graph. So as you go outwards towards negative infinity for x, we see that our red graph is going towards positive infinity for those limits. So this would be positive infinity. So one more time, it just really depends on what that degree is, if it's an even or an odd nth degree and that leading coefficient if it's positive or negative. So again though, that is example four from our 1.5 number two set of notes.